After what was, to say the least, an eventful night for our protagonists, uh, they awaken the next day to more questions than answers, where some of them saw or met some interesting people, they all lost some time, and they glimpsed the coming madness, and now we'll see what they'll do. Uh, no, so, you you got to start, start with Alex. He, 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 he slept with some girl. <laughs> wow. All right, Alex, what did you take from the last episode? Um, probably a pretty serious hangover. And uh, hopefully no diseases. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right. Tim, you're, uh, you also are someone who met or saw some interesting people. What did you yeah, take from the I saw, I saw a guy with a black book. He looked very strange. And the fact that a bar was still open after an explosion when it was like not even a block away, that is really weird. Also, seeing a girl... Being in the middle of a closed train station, that's really weird. I do not know what to think about all this. Kerrigan? Boom. Took away an explosion. <laughs> and Dan. Uh, Quinn learned, uh, well, he's hoping that the test that the paramedics took, I'm assuming, uh, some blood for is going to show that, well, I guess he's up in the air whether or not it shows that he had ISD in his system or not. But uh, some interesting stuff definitely happened last night. Um, and I'm not sure that uh, if I didn't have drugs in my system, then the police aren't going to know what's going to be happening. So I'm going to be watching the news and uh, keeping my eye on that for today. Okay. Um, everybody go ahead and mark down on your sheets uh, two experience points for last session. Now, in Savage Worlds, kind of works on an incremental basis where every five experience you get to spend it on something. They've got two at this point. They'll need three more before they can increase something. Yeah. Um, first thing that Quinn's going to do when he wakes up is uh, text his ex and daughter Happy New Year. Okay. Uh, well, as he's doing that, I'm going to need everyone to give me a bigger test. And the two of you, Dan and Alex, that had a little bit too much to drink will need to give me two separate bigger tests. Oh, nice. Five on the first. Okay. <gasps> Six on the second. A two and a three. <laughs> Five. <gasps> so I Seven. know exactly what I'm doing today. Okay. All of you, the closest you can approximate to it, is feel hungover, but it's not. It's not like dehydrated hungover. It's just like, oh my god, what the fuck happened? Hungover. However, Alex, you are both dehydrated, drank too much, hungover, and oh my god, what the fuck happened? Hungover. Alex is legally dead. <laughs> or Staying close to it. away from the light. All right. So you text your family and. Anyone else doing anything besides hiding from the light? <laughs> um, <clears throat> I might be worshiping uh, the, at the uh, porcelain throne a bit. <laughs> right. Um, uh, I would check the news as well. i go on Facebook to see what the equivalent thereof, whatever social media I'm on, and mm -hmm. check and see if any news. Otherwise, I'm just going to stick in my room for the rest of the day. Okay. As Tyrion says in season one, if I can make it through today without spewing from either end, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking of which, you did uh, take a young lady home to her dorm, yeah. which would be where you've woken up, yeah. which would not be your place of residence. Are you, still going to, are you planning on staying in her dorm room? Or are no, you going to do the walk no, of shame? The, the walk of shame. <laughs> I have no experience with the walk of shame. I don't know why you're looking at me. <laughs> because I'm waiting to see what you're going like, to do. Because <laughs> oh. then you'd have a, a train spotting moment. <laughs> I'm going to do the same thing I do every morning. I'm going to grab myself a cup of coffee, or cup of coffee read the paper, do my workout. And, and, you know, it depends. Am I on shift tonight or am I off shift tonight? You are definitely on shift today because you're going to have to be looking into things that happen. So yeah, once I basically get my coffee down, my paper read, my workout done, I'm going to be doing the three S's and getting to work. All right. 
Do you know what the three S's are, Tim? <laughs> oh. It's it sh- shave and shine, but... Yeah. Uh, Tim, go ahead and give me an investigation roll as you're scouring the media for... Uh, nine. Nine. Oh. There are re- obviously reports of, you know, the the second pine cone drop being canceled due to an explosion. Uh, the news is reporting it as a uh, gas main leak mm-hmm. causing the fire. So uh, you, of course, weren't, didn't go in and investigate. So it's a kitchen it. blew up. It's a likely story. Mm-hmm. Alex, you are hating life as you walk home to your door. Yeah. Well, life is just a string of experiences for Mr. Ryder here. This is one of the less favorable ones. Are the county offices open? Like government buildings, government offices open today as new on New Year's Day? No. And, um, I'm going to be sending emails to my connections in the government, though. Okay. I mean, they'll get to it later, but yeah. I'm gonna be like, "There's some weird stuff happening." Last night. Last night. Uh, on your end, what what do you think it was is going on? Trying to get an inside gossip track, and then uh, can I make an investigation as well for the media? Yes, you may. Oh, I am Will Wheatoning it today. I think. <laughs> yeah, the D10 doesn't even matter. <clears throat> nope. Uh, two. Two. Uh, <laughs> you know, you you see the story about the gas leak, and I'm concerned only in the likes and uh, comments on my Facebook page. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> you, you start to type it in, and then you notice you yeah, got a new friend request from someone you had been drinking with, and you got sidetracked. Hey, look, cat videos. Wait, you're not a college student. I probably saw something about some lie that Fox News is telling on my news feed, and got angry about it. <laughs> Officer Xavier? I'm just doing my usual. Notice. The media's not... I read the paper this morning. Yeah. If there's nothing exciting in the paper, I'm doing my work out. And yep, I'm heading off into work. Do, and, uh, do, I have, do I have to take a personal vehicle or do I have a patrol vehicle at the house? Uh, that's up to you. I'm going to leave that one up to you. I'd ha- I would assume I'd probably take a personal vehicle to work and then have a patrol vehicle in the okay. garage. Because it's a college town, you never know when it's really needed. I mean, I'm just uh, get in my uniform, get to work. Do I see anything outlandishly weird or otherworldly way to work? Uh, you do not. However, you do, um, in reading the paper, would have read about the gas leak. Which is what I assumed last night. Yeah. Although you do also remember that the, your partner told you the fire people said there's nothing that should have caused that. No, I, and I do remember that. So. But I'm going to go with what my character thought probably happened was a static charge and gas leak. And just because a firefighter says it wasn't likely or it didn't happen. Okay. It, the, the long-standing rivalry between the fire department and the police department. Come on, I'm smarter than that, that hose monkey. <laughs> <laughs> hose monkey. Nice. We had hit or glitch up the utmost respect for all our civil servants. <laughs> <laughs> and if you work for the police department, you probably call them worse things than I just did. Well, I bet there's plenty in fire departments that have perfect respect for each other. I, I would know, though, I've never been in here. Before. Yeah, just like all the branches of the military have the utmost respect <laughs> for each other. Except the for utmost respect. respect. <laughs> Go Navy. Beat Army. Go Air Force. And for those of you that don't know, I was Army. I'm talking about the football man. We all got to work together on the field. Go Navy. <laughs> anyway. Um, anyway, Officer Squid doing anything special. <laughs> oh, 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 listen, backpacker. <laughs> I'm, jumping into the, I'm jumping into the car, getting onto the patrol route, and I'm, I'm going to slow ride. I'm going to 
you know, I'm, I'm going to have a casual day. We're going to check for the occasional speeder, the occasional jaywalker. We're going to listen to the radio for any calls, especially any calls that seem abnormal for the area that I am currently patrolling. Okay. Or even areas like outside of my patrol that seem like they would be ridiculous. Uh, go ahead and give me a notice check as you're cruising around Flagstaff in the patrol car. Ugh. Four. Uh, you do notice a uh, over in Wheeler Park by the public library, there is a small gathering of people, uh, a drum circle. Uh, but you do notice the, the one man that you talked to last night is there. And he seems to be leading the drum circle. Is he? Yes, he is. Can I check my knowledge of the law to see if they have to have a permit to to have a gathering like that in the park? Sure, go ahead. Come see the violence inherent in the system. <laughs> oh, oh, is that how being repressed? Be? <laughs> Ten. Ten. Uh, if they were. <laughs> if they're just hanging out and playing the drums, no, they do not. If they are protesting or doing anything like that, then yes, they would need a permit. But it looks like they're just hanging out and playing. It looks at the moment like they're just hanging out and playing drums. Is there any odd smell in the air? Give me another notice check. I just pull up and just start black. <laughs> <laughs> What do I look like? Man? Don't even drive up. Just keep driving by. Eleven. Eleven. Uh, there is a faint smell, but you're not sure it's coming from them specifically. All right. This is downtown Flagstaff. It is downtown <laughs> Flagstaff. <laughs> you are correct. I'm not over there yet. <laughs> so I guess I'll, I'll, I'll get out of the car okay. with my partner, and we'll go up and we'll just kind of hang out there for a minute. No, I'm not going to bother anybody, but as I get closer, does the smell get hunger? It does. Is it, and is it that smelly smell that smells smelly? This is a family show. Uh, <laughs> not really. No, <laughs> this is no, a family show. Yeah, I think we ruined that when I told you guys about the what the fuck happened hangover. Yeah. Uh, again, adults doing adult things and talking about adult things. <laughs> So yeah, are they on the green ganja? Or can I safely assume? You would assume that um, at least a few members of this circle have either recently smoked it or have it on them. Oh, that's nice. So yeah, uh, I'm just going to keep it casual, play it cool, walk up, and be near them. Not, there's going to be no approach made. We're just going to be hanging out there for a minute like we're having a conversation and see how they react. Eating a donut. Sure. If you want to throw that stereotype out there, be my guest. Cream filled. Think about it. Long John cream filled. All right, so you're standing there. It's only impressive if you take it in two bites. Ooh. You can't do it in one? <laughs> <laughs> um, give me another notice roll. Nice. Oh, not nice. Seven. Seven. Okay, so you, um, you're sitting there. Things they don't seem to be making too much of a, you know, they're not making a disturbance or anything. They're just playing, um, kind of an unusual beat. But you would assume they're all unusual. I mean, it's. it's the hippie drum um, But uh, as you guys are standing there and just kind of having your nice little chat, you and your partner, there is one young lady uh, who kind of keeps looking over at you. And after about three or four minutes, she heads across the street and starts walking away. From the drum circle? From the drum circle. How, how close was I to the drum circle? You said you didn't get that close. I mean, no, I didn't approach. You didn't approach, but how close would you have gotten? I mean, I mean enough to hear the music. Uh, I mean, if there was a park bench or a tree nearby, somewhere near that area. So 
Yeah. About most of it, unless you're downwind, I think. Oh yeah, and definitely downwind. Yeah. I made sure that I was downwind. You're, you're with probably a ten, fifteen foot distance from the circle. And is she walking away from us or yes. towards us? Away. Away. So if you look on your map, they were uh, probably near the P and Park, yeah. Miller Park, and uh, she took off west, crossed Humphreys towards Birch Avenue through that little parking lot there, that light gray area. Okay. Uh, she's full on running? No. no. Oh, okay. When you um, said took off, I'm like, she's full on running? That's a whole different story. No, no. She, she's, I don't want to say power, but walking with purpose, we'll say. It's quicker than just a casual stroll. Hmm. I could always talk to my new friend and see who that was, or I can follow her. That's the question. What, what, if anything, besides the Matterhorn is down in that area? No, uh, you've got the historic church of the nativity. You've got, she goes far enough, you've got the Coconino County Courthouse. Mm, I mean, I'm just trying to think if there's anything like that would take her in that direction that would be realistic for uh, her to that kind of purpose. She keeps heading... North on when she gets to Beaver, she'll end up at the hospital. Okay. Is there any, would I recognize her from anything? Like, is there a poster looking for her or anything? Not that comes to your mind. Nothing on that? All right. You know what? I'm going to go with my gut. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to casually get back in the car and move the car towards her direction. Okay. To to catch up with her. All right. So you go back. You get in your car. Mm -hmm. You head over there. Um, go ahead and give me a notice check. Notice has been working out well for me, and it's still working good for me. Ten. Ten. Okay, uh, you believe you see her down, uh, as, as you're turning from Humphreys onto Birch, you believe you see her down uh, near the corner of LaRue. Um, so she made it a couple of blocks. And she turns north on LaRue. All right, so I'm on Birch right now. I'm heading towards LaRue. Good thing that's not a one-way. Uh, <laughs> yeah, let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and start heading up north towards LaRue. See if we can't catch her. Yeah. Are you going to go to LaRue and then turn, or are you going to... Well, you can't really go up Beaver. That's one way. Uh, if I went code three, I could, but I'm not doing that. I'm not drawing that much attention to myself. I'm going <laughs> LaRue. All right. I get to the corner of LaRue and give me another notice check. Listen, you crafty bitch. <laughs> Ooh, that one didn't help me out so much. Five. You don't see her. Uh, you can guess that she probably turned on Birch. Back on the Birch again? Not Birch, I'm sorry, Cherry. Cherry? Uh, after she turned up LaRue, um, because if she had gone straight any further, you assume you would be able to see her by now. Okay, so we'll pull up to the corner of Cherry and... Look left and real quick, and still nothing. Still nothing. She would really have to be moving it. Let's check the church. Make a left onto Cherry and check the church. All right. So we'll just kind of pull over onto the side there and and Unless get she's up. collapsed onto all fours and is climbing up the side of the building. Huh? Unless she's collapsed down on all fours and is climbing up the side of the building. <sighs> I would have noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> Even with a five, probably. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, well, because I don't think she could have gotten that far if I'm pulling up in the car and I'm moving quite a lot faster than she is. 
So she would either have to dip into the church or take off running. And I'd, ha I'd see her if she was taking off running, even in a group. So yeah, we'll just pull over the car and we'll get out and we'll, shut, we'll walk into the church. Okay, you head into the church and uh, there's a few uh, church officials there. The priest, the secretary. And I'll ask the priest if anybody's come into the church just recently. Haven't seen anyone today other than you. And the secretary sits staring at the front door, I assume. Uh, no, her, she's got a She's got a little note, so. scribe, a scribe's yeah. note. Uh, you, Dad, mind if we take a quick look around? Help yourself. So we'll take a look around. Investigation. That's an even better guy. <laughs> Ten. No sign of her. Hmm. Crafty means. Ask my partner what he think. He's not sure. He's thinking, you know, there's all those buildings the block south of the church that you could have ducked into one of those. You want to go take a look into them? We can. Might as well. I mean, there's nothing coming up on the radio, and it just seems curious that she would just pack up and leave so quickly. So we'll go check the other buildings that are right around there. Uh, as you head over to those other buildings, give me a notice check and then an investigation check for searching the area. Four. Three. Nope. You found your car. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> All right. All right, screw it. We'll go back to the park then. <clears throat> uh, drum circling hippie still there? Yes. Then we'll just sit in the car, we'll hang out, and we'll wait for the drum circle to break up. And then I'll go talk to my transient. Okay. Anyone else doing anything? Mm. Other than napping? Mm. Uh, maybe once the stomach has settled a bit, I'm going to go get something to eat. Yeah, it'll be around lunchtime, right? Or is it still... Yeah, probably. Okay, then yeah, I would probably go go get some takeout. That's food, something rather like that. Okay. I'm going to be getting on the line and uh, doing all the ordering stuff for my tax software for the coming tax season. Okay. Uh, when you go to get online and do your ordering stuff, uh, you get a you have a reply to one of your emails, one of the um, it's a person in the mayor's office. Oh. Whoever your contact is. Cool. Uh, and basically, it tells you that you probably drank too much and that you probably need to stop drinking so much and to just leave it alone. <laughs> Take a swig or something? For yep. those of you in on the uh, radio, that was him imitating taking a swig from his flask of whiskey. Not that we got that film, but we did get that in recording. It's called Foley. That was very, very poor Foley. Oh, I'm not a sound effects man. No, no, that's my job. So just edit that in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, oh. You're all a bunch of jerks and critics. <laughs> critics make the worst of friends. Um, the evil is polite but dismissive. Dismissive and almost of aggressive. Anyone do? Well, like I said, I'm going to the fast food restaurant. Okay. Is my jump circle broken up yet? Not quite. I'm going to look the other I am going to go out to, uh, ooh, timing question for you. Okay. Has Twin Arrows opened up yet? Yes. Okay. 
I'll go out there. Okay. I'm gonna spend some time camping. Are you? Do you have your own vehicle? Are you getting an Uber again? Are you headed over to the motor to drop off? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll take the the coach. Okay. So you're making your way to there. Uh, Tim, mm -hmm. what kind of fast food are you going for? Taco Bell, Jack in the Box, mm -hmm. McDonald's, I'm Panda thinking, Express. I'm thinking Chinese. I gotta take out Chinese. So you head over to Panda. Yeah, it's probably the closest place. Yeah, where you? Oh, are. Scott. Sorry, I will do my best. Um, so you get there, <clears throat> you go through, you order your stuff, you eat in there. Uh, no, I'm gonna take it to go. Okay, so you get it, you get back home, mm -hmm. open it up, and I need you to give me a spirit test. <laughs> a spirit test. Okay. Any modifiers? Not any modifiers, no. Ten. You open it up and you kind of like you drop the food because it almost looks like your chow man is crawling. But then you look back and you're like I must be just really hungover. I must have, those drinks must have been stronger than I realized. But you now have chow mein and orange chicken all over your floor. Well, I'll clean it up. I obviously need to get out of the house. I must have hay fever or something. I need to go out. So I'm just going to grab a couple of things and I'm just going to go for a walk. Okay. Need to, to, to resettle my mind. Oh, yeah. So prepared for another. Day. Oh, I'll probably gosh. be texting some of the friends I went out with last night because I'm starting to finally my mind's catching up with me again. I'm yeah. trying to remember like there were some weird things going on and seeing that what they they say what they saw. Okay. Remember. Most of them just think it was a normal evening until the restaurant explosion. Mm. No one had the. Uh, Time lapse that you had. That's weird. Oh. Anything else you want to do? Probably eat a bowl of cereal. And then you get on the coach and you head out. I need you to give me a notice check. Seven. Seven? All right. As the coach is going down La Rue to Route 66 to take you out to Twin Arrows. You can't help but look over at the monsoons that exploded, and you almost think you see someone in there. You see some movement, but you can't really tell who or what it is. Hmm. Do I have time to like whip out my phone and try to take a pic? Uh, give me, give me an agility to see how quick you are with your. Yeah. Hi. Yeah, you. Get a picture off, and uh, it's not the best picture because yeah. it's on a cell phone from a moving vehicle. But uh, you think that you know, once you plug your phone and hook it up to your computer, you can probably lighten it up and get some detail out of it. Ooh. Your drum circle is broken up. Get out of the car and go talk to my train yeah. Okay. Uh, it's good to see you again. Good Hello. to see that you're in good health. You as well. After last night's events. You told me that I'd be okay last night. Obviously, I am. That's uh, good. How was your drum circle today? A very spiritual experience, I assume? It accomplished what it needed to. Everybody in a calmer state of mind than I hope? This work not bringing peace. He is? It. Oh, it is. There was a there was a young lady who was sitting here earlier. She seemed to take off pretty quickly after you know we stopped by to check on the beat the first time. Do you, do you know who she was? She's blonde, small. 
She didn't belong here. Didn't belong here. Why do you say that? From out of town, or she just wasn't somebody that you. She didn't want peace. Or peace. What kind of peace? Who wouldn't want peace? There are many. Many who don't, well, I mean, man is a fickle creature, war and, and things like that. But what kind of peace are you offering? Huh? I purple hate. I had painted black in the back of my head, actually. <laughs> I do not offer peace. I merely help those who are looking for it. Yeah, but what kind of world peace? Soul peace? Religious peace? Spiritual. Spiritual peace? Are you a good Christian fellow? Are you one of those Jehovah's Witnesses? I didn't know Jehovah's Witnesses did drum circle. There are things older than Jehovah. I think the Jews would disagree. <laughs> I wonder wonder what could be older than the, the one known God. Well, I mean, I guess other religions have older gods too. I mean, maybe followers of Apollo? That is a name for some of them. You never know. One man's God is another man's devil or whatever. Doesn't really matter, does it? As long as everybody finds peace. And uh, he reaches out and grasps her shoulder again. Pretty firm grasp for as old as he appears. He just looks you in the eye. And Wait, come again? You're, he looks you in the eye. But what did he say? He says, you're going to be okay. Again? And he walks off. <laughs> Clearly I'm going to live, but I, I don't know from what. I'm just going to look at my partner and get his thoughts. He's just looking at you like, why are you wasting time with this guy? He's obviously a nutcase. <laughs> uh, how long have you been in Flagstaff, dude? <laughs> you know, I moved up here from Phoenix, and I, most of these people are nutcases up here. You got to go off of every other marijuana link tip you can get. <laughs> oh, let's be honest. In the winter time. They're all shipped up from Phoenix. This guy's probably this transient's probably from Phoenix. Yeah, probably why it doesn't bother me as much. Yeah, they're right. opposite ways. Summertime they ship them up. Wintertime they ship them back down. Yeah. This one missed the bus. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> so, something. I, I guess an older god. It didn't. Uh, I don't know. After everything from last night, this dude, I saw him last night. I see him today. He's talking about peace and gods. I mean, and, and, and remember the tentacle thing from last night with the pine cone that that, that that portly politician told us? Yeah, I wasn't there when you took that step. And I told you about it, though. Yeah, you it? told me about it, yeah. but I mean... And then remember From what I've heard about that guy. He drinks a lot. So oh. remember last night when I was when I lost like almost a whole minute. Like I totally even forgot where we were. I had to go sit in the car. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. I think the stress is getting to you. <sighs> you have any personal time saved up? Yeah, I think I got a little PTO lie on that I could probably use. Uh, let's finish up the beat for the day. I'll see the chief before he. Shuts down shop for the evening and see if maybe I can take a couple of days off. All right, man. 
Tim, you were going for a walk. Where are you walking? Taking the urban town again? Mm. I'll just walk where my feet take me. Walk where your feet take you. All right. I'm, I'm mainly, I'm not really much in for the, the, uh, the, the where, my destination, just there for the journey. I'm trying to just kind of center myself to kind I've of I've got this in. fancy little die that's got green, yellow, and red. I'd like you to roll that for me. You just will happen to have a chance cube. <laughs> yellow. Okay. Yeah. So you're walking, and uh, just get this weird feeling that you're being watched. Can I see me I'm down on club. Uh, go ahead and give me a notice. Okay. Since you're looking around like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just looking around like what the heck? Nine. You don't see any one per se, but um, and Flag you know that Flagstaff is known for having a lot of crows and ravens and but there's one that you notice in a tree that seems to be watching you, just kind of like moving its head back and forth, side to side. And it's abnormally large. Maybe the size of two or three normal size ravens, which are pretty big birds to begin with. Yeah. I'm going to stop and just look directly at it, just stare at it for a little bit until it does something. Or for a couple of minutes, if it does something, then I'll do something. Okay. Uh, so you just kind of sit there and have this staring competition. A little bit of time passes. It lets out this just like loud cough. Super loud. Like it almost hurts your ears. Oh man, I really want to do it. And it flies off. You can feel free. I don't want to blow our listeners' ears. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah, that was a little too manly. You got to do it with a deep voice. It's dire crow. <laughs> All right, I did. I did a quiet one. <laughs> so I'll, I'll watch it leave. I'm going to make a mental note. Watch the birds. We're obviously in a Hitchcock movie. <laughs> Dude, you are stoned. <laughs> yeah, so kind of watch it. I saw it. that meme yesterday. I'll, I'll, I'll watch it for a while until it like gets out of sight, and then I'll just continue walking. Uh, give me a smart check. Four. Okay. Uh, you do notice that it, like when it takes off and you're watching it, you come to the realization that it's headed downtown. Obviously, somebody's sending me a message. I'm going downtown. Okay. This is not natural. This is very strange. I'm going to figure it out. I'm not a spiritual guy myself. But something's going on. Mr. Serial, what you doing? Well... Today I wasn't really planning on doing much of anything, but there's really not a whole lot to do in the normal groups over the winter time. It's too cold to go hiking or climbing. So it's probably go and hang out at a friend's place where we're both on our phones, but kind of in each other's presence while on our phones, so it's not like we're alone. So like so a normal college student. Yeah. I mean, seriously, you sit on campus and you watch people. And there's like four people sitting So go street. over to a friend's place and smoke, probably. Okay. Waste the rest of the day. No school right now, so life's good. Dan over at All American. It's actually Little America, but. Yeah. Well, I thought he went to the Twin Arrows. Oh, yeah, you're on the way to Twin Arrows. Uh, you do get there. Um, I think I'm going to go to the blackjack tables. Okay. And, uh, I think I'm going to, I'm going to play with just a hundred dollars today. 
I'd, uh, okay, so you go and you sit down at the uh, blackjack table. There's a, there's two other people there. Uh, little old Native American lady and an older white gentleman. Uh, the gentleman has definitely had a bit to drink already. Go ahead and give me a notice check. Three. Three. All right. You do not notice anything out of the board. Do you have any kind of gambling skill? I do. Okay, go ahead and give me a roll on that. Eight. Eight. All right, how much did you bet on that game? Uh, about 20 bucks on that game. 20 bucks? All right, you win an additional 15. Cool. Alright. You gonna keep playing? Yeah. Alright. Uh give me how much are you betting on this one? Forty. Forty. Give me a roll. Seven. Uh, you double it. You're on fire. I'm on fire, man. How much you betting? Um let it ride. Fifty. This is gonna bite me in the butt. Most of it's the house money right now. Six. Six. All right. You win again. Right. Uh, gonna bet again? Yeah, we'll do a hundred. Gonna do a hundred. Right, go ahead. Six. And you lose. Ah. So you are still up five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> well, you said you. Oh, right. You said you were going to start with a hundred. I see what you're saying. He won a total of a hundred and five. He bet a yeah. hundred, lost that, so he's still up five hundred. Um, I'm going to ask any of the people here, like the two other players and the dealer, did you guys go to the pine cone drop or you guys? Yeah. Yeah. They, they were all there. Uh, that was crazy, huh? Yeah. I mean, who would have thought a gas line would blow? Yeah. I mean, you'd think there'd be more fire if there was a gas line that blew. I mean, the fire department had it out pretty quick. I'm just kind of watching you, like, where are you going with this? Did you guys, uh, I don't know, did it seem like the countdown came faster than it did last year? They kind of looked confused for a second, and the lady said, what do you mean it happened at 10? I don't know, it was just, uh, for me, it was like, you know, we were one minute out, and then all of a sudden, bam, it's less than 10 seconds. What else did you see? I think there might have been something wrong with the uh, the pine cone. Maybe smoke or something was coming out of it. I, I don't really remember. Try and see what they are. Give me a notice check. Eight. Um, so the older gentleman is just totally confused. He's probably too inebriated to um, the lady seems to know more than she's letting on and is visibly concerned about your answers and you can read nothing off the dealer's face mm. he got a 17 <laughs> <laughs> um, but when you say that and you kind of watch everybody the 
lady finishes her drink. Uh, she's got like half a glass of uh, whiskey on the rocks, and she just downs it, and gets up and leaves. The dealer is watching you, but you again, you can't read anything off of them. Oh, ma'am, ma'am. I'll pull out business card. I sort of specialize in uh, in gambling winnings and losings. Uh, the information on the card is uh, that of date. I've, I've, I had to I had to sell my practice, but um, my cell number is is good on it. So give me a call. She just kind of looks at the card, looks at you, and hurries off. I'll offer one to the mostly drunk guy as well. Same with you. you. Just kind of takes it and puts it with his chips. And then I'll play another hand. Okay, how much? hundred bucks on the line. hundred bucks? Yeah. All right. Eight. You'll lose again. Ah. <sighs> Anything else anyone wants to do? Well, I'm heading to downtown. Downtown, yeah. All right. Well, join us next week, and we'll see what he's downtown. Downtown, beautiful.